Secondary School in Norfolk, Virginia. He is the CEO and founder of a 501 nonprofit organization entitled Lullabies for the Urban Soul. This guy does a lot of things. Put your hands together for Clark Nellie. Love Hall, y'all. Y'all can do better than that for my co hosts Yes, yes, yes. Yes, moms. How you doing, Clark? Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to kick it off real quick. He's been featured at WWC as one of our regular spinning artists. He has a baritone voice like no other. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for my co-host, Clark Love Hall, y'all. It's not that. My, my voice isn't all that deep. <laughs> um, uh, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? All right, there's a little bit of love in here. Okay, all right. Um, I see we got the Medea's family reunion thing going on back here, you know, so I figured I'd go ahead and hit y'all off with another movie bit real quick. Um, raise your, never, give me some claps if y'all love the movie Love Jones. I know we do. All right, all right. The first date I watched Love Jones, it was serious business. All right, um, so y'all probably gonna remember this really quickly. Say, baby, can I be your slave? I've got to admit, girl, you're the shit, girl, and I'm digging you like a grave. Now, do they call you daughter to the spinning pole song? Or maybe queen of 10,000 moons? Is your name Yimmy Ya? Oh, hell no, it's got to be Oshon. Oh, Lord, I forgot the whole poem. That's all right. You know, we're going to keep it moving like you are. And she says, I had a moment. I'm going to be back with that later on, though. That's okay. We're going to come back. She done started painting and everything. It was wonderful. It was beautiful. Got y'all hyped up. Got you ready to go. That is okay, though. No, but um, on a serious note, uh, good to see everybody out here. This is the most beautiful outcome that I've ever seen for uh, WWC yet. I mean, this is just the best one. I think that deserves a round of applause in itself. All right. And coming to the stage first. I gotta introduce this lady right here. Don't go nowhere, Clark, because you gotta do the next couple of people. But I have to introduce this lady. This lady drives four and a half hours both ways, coming and going from North Kakilaki to be here. She is extremely talented. It must be a requirement to be a coffee poet because the simple fact of the matter, everybody in her family, even Mama Coffee, does poetry. Isn't that something? Her kids, her sisters, her brothers, her nieces, her nephews, everyone does poetry. So it's a requirement in their family. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way, nine hours, you do the math, 4.5 times 2 is... Nine hours to be here at WWC. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, put your right one together and your left one together. Let's clap it up, snap it up, and show this sister some love. The Poked Coffee, coming to the MIC. Let's keep it going like you do everything else. Keep it going, keep it going. A round of applause, Rihanna minus Chris Brown style. Keep it going, y'all. Keep it going, keep it going. The poet coffee, nine hours to be here, y'all. I'm gonna be painting while she's speaking. All right. What's up, everybody? Hey, I drove. I did drive that long tonight. I left about three o'clock. True that. True that. 17 South. I mean, 17 North. Everybody know that direction. Um, I am originally from Norfolk. I graduated from Booker T High School. Hey. <laughs> But you know, travel and people take me to different places. So back here tonight, um, I got a signature piece. This is Poetry Month, so I'm gonna do what I like. And I hope y'all like it too. This is all for my thick soul sisters. And it's called BBW. I got thunder in my thighs. Hips round like two sweating apple pies. When I step, when I step, it shakes the lie that I am going to just give it to you. These really are muscles alongside my breasts, and that's usually just where you plant your hands to pull me close so I can softly hear you boast about this 
cloud you on. <laughs> Not mine, baby, mine. Bring your jetliner through. You gotta flick my horse hair, pull on my ponytail, ride this donkey, get the monkey off my back, flex me the chicken wing, cause that's why I came to up in here. And I'm checking IDs. Because this nature ride just might hurt you. I'm a thick chick making double the moves. A big beautiful story in my curves, fullness, and grooves. You may call them rolls. But baby, I call them biscuits. <laughs> and they melt in your mouth, so you die to get with this. Fluffy, pudgy, chunky, fat. Not a little kitty, but a big old cat. Tell me you want that play in there. Show it off my back. Lay on me for a good night's sleep, because I got it like that. Big, beautiful woman. When I say it, feel it rumbling. Cross your face, cheeks, ears, and know that there is nothing more secure than in the embrace of a thunderous, fluffy, naturizing, thick woman. Yeah. And you know, um, you know, being thick always gets me in trouble. It gets me in trouble, but you know, I like to get something back too. And I usually get back when I can put my hands on something. And I'm, I'm about to tell you what it is, because it's my, it's my fetish. Brown, soft, fleshy, warm, dangling from your body like an aesthetic charm. Boy, stop holding my fetish hostage. You, you, you got it. And baby, you, you, you know what I'm talking about. It's my fetish. Soothe my rocket storms, turn my bugs off and on. Come and stand before me. Let me put my hands on it to my fetish. Did you guess it? Did you guess it? Did you guess it? Why, it's your ears, boy. Come here, boy. Let me feel, boy. Were you here, boy? Because I love the lobes, the flip floppers, the head knockers, the earpiece. Want to bend them between my fingers and push them inside and let them slowly slide back to their original size. Want to rub them on my face and squeeze them between my toes. Because you know um, I'm, I'm, I'm sick with this. This is fetish. Mm -mm. Remove your earrings. Take off that hat. Let them big old things hang out. Ooh. I like it like that. <laughs> Make me sing. Ear boy. Ear boy. My fingers are lonely and idle. Don't be stingy, just come give me my fetish. Shh, 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 shh. Don't say a word. Just turn your head left or right and I got it from there. It's where you hear, boy. It's my fetish. Thank you, I'm Poet Coffee. <laughs>